Hi everybody, uh, this past week I've been in Woods Hole, which is a small town in the US United States, uh, giving an occupancy modeling workshop. So I thought for this video tip, I'll, I'll give a quick chat about um, some occupancy related matters. In particular, uh, one of the main assumptions of occupancy modeling is that we have independent observations. And so when people have um, spatial correlation, they get quite concerned about that. They, they wonder whether the, the techniques are still valid. And the thing is, is that it's not only a biological assumption, it's actually really important that we meet this assumption of independence with the way that we do our sampling. And so on the screen here now, we have a picture, we have a spatially correlated population. And if we take a random sample from that population, we can actually show that we get the right X answer, uh, the estimates are accurate, and we have the right standard errors. For, for example, if we simulate from this population and simulate a study, where we've independently selected um, our units, so using a random sample or a random scheme, then note here on screen, then what we get is we get the right answer, uh, our estimates have the correct standard errors, uh, and everything looks okay. Now if we don't have a random sample, so suppose we have some sort of clustering to our sampling scheme, for example we select the, the vertices of these grid cells, and then we sample the four neighbouring grid cells uh, of that vertice. So now our samples aren't independent of one another, because of our sampling scheme. So it's not because of the spatial correlation, but because of the sampling scheme that we've used. And so again, if we show this by simulation, uh, note that that standard error is now it's bigger than what it should be. Um, and so there's actually more uncertainty in our estimates than, than what we naively think, just based upon the, the number of units that were surveyed. So there you have it, this little tip. So spatial correlation isn't necessarily an issue, provided that we have a good sampling scheme. Um, if you want to have more tips, then visit the Proteus website and the news tips and tricks page. And yeah, hope you have a nice day. Thanks guys.